Hi, and welcome to today's video where we are going to be looking at strategies for mental math, which is all about solving math in your head, looking at some numbers that are kind of difficult, and then making them easier for us to dissect or estimate uh, with regard to what the total could possibly be. So I did mention that it is going to be a mental strategy, but in order for me to mentally do that, I'm gonna have to show you by writing. So let's take a look at today's question. We've got 378, and let's say to it, we're gonna be adding 115. Now, oftentimes, you might have a calculator on hand where you can just punch that in, but sometimes you're not going to. So mental math is all about using what we call friendly numbers, changing these things into numbers that we're much more comfortable using. So I'm going to show you a couple of different strategies of how we can break these numbers down. So the first one, let's go to yellow. So the first one, we're gonna do this. If I look at this number, 378, I look at that and say, okay, well, there's some numbers in there that aren't overly friendly. But I notice that that number is really close to 380. So why don't I just pretend that that number is 380 for the time being? And then if I look down here and say, okay, well, wait a second, this number 115, that number is somewhat friendly. And if I know that this is 380, I could probably use that. So why don't I think of 380 and 115 and put them together? So what I could do is this. If I took 380 and 115 and put them together, I know very quickly without having to work in a downward process that this was 495. 495, but this is not the answer to this. Not the answer to this question because I've changed that. I've changed this number, so I know that there's something I have to do to this in order to make it work. So let's look at what I did. I added two to here to get it up to 380. So if I have 380 and the original number was 378, what I need to do is take away two now. So I'm taking away this two from here to get my original number. So if I take 495 and then take away two, I know that the answer is 493. I did not have to do a ton of calculations in my head or do uh, what we call vertical math going down the, the um, place value chart. Okay, so that's one way that I could do it. Another way that I could do it is I can change these numbers to something different. I might like this. I might like 380. So I'm going to keep 380 right here. I'll just put this in pink. I might keep 380. And then maybe I want to change this to 110. Okay, so I'm going to change this to 110. This looks much easier to use now. I've got eight and one is nine, three and one is four. I know that it's 490, but I subtracted five from here. I went down five to get 110, and I went up two plus two to get to 380. So the difference here, down five up two, would be plus three. So essentially, I just need to add three more to this to get 493. So as you can see, there's a variety of ways that you can approach this question in general. These are a couple of strategies that I'd like you to try using mental math, breaking the numbers into friendlier numbers, and just remembering what it was that you did to manipulate it in the first place to add everything together. What I would recommend you do is you re-watch this video, pause it if you need to, and if you have any questions, by all means, drop a line, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.